Walker. All right, Rob, speaking of looking old, I'm sure you watched the Cowboys Saints game last night. Cowboys win in a pretty ugly one. That was a ching for Shekel City. I just want to let you know that. You did? That okay, good. Yes. Congratulations. We don't get many of those, so congratulations. <laughs> but uh, Ezekiel Elliott, Rob, 13 carries, 45 yards. That's 3.5 yards a carry. And, At and least Rob, he's over, consistent. He is consistently bad. Now. Yeah, <laughs> like over the last six games or so, that's what he's averaging, about 3.5 yards a carry. Look, he's got this, I don't know what, how to describe it, sore right knee. Uh, it's certainly bothering him a little bit. He won't use it as an excuse. There doesn't seem to be any thought of holding him out. Uh, but he, he does appear to be hampered, Rob. And I believe this. I do firmly believe Zeke wants to play. I believe the Cowboys want to play him. But I believe, Rob, Part of why Ezekiel Elliott does not want to, like, take a game off, you know, and he does have about 10 days in between their next game. They get, like, you know, the mini buy kind of before they play Washington two Sundays from now. Right. But, Rob, and I'm not, I'm not saying this as an insult or a slight or, like, a knock at his character because I think it's a human reaction. I've felt this way before. Obviously, I didn't play. I played at a much lower level, but I felt this. I think everybody, if they would be honest, you has felt this. Ezekiel Elliott, Rob, I do believe, doesn't want to sit out like a week, a game, because he's afraid that Tony Pollard will take his job. Now, Tony wait. Pollard's already been more impressive than him. All year. So are you are you trying to say like, like if you had a radio show and you worked every single holiday that I'm afraid to take off? Is that what you're saying? Well, you you <laughs> <laughs> No, I am not saying that. Is that what you're saying? Like <laughs> Rob don't not... even take off for Christmas because he <laughs> don't want to. I mean, no like, way. Like, I heard no... Rob I know Rob G's motives. Right? right? I hey, Rob like <laughs> Rob G's the one pushing me to take off for the holidays, you know? Right, right. But no, no, no I'm no. not saying that. And I'm gonna I, say this, right? Look, just quickly, Tony Pollard's averaging five and five point six yards a carry. Zeke's averaging four point four, which isn't horrible to be honest. It's actually pretty, you know, it's it's, it's average for good backs. But Pollard, Zeke has like 160 more yards than Tony Pollard in about 65 more carries. So I, I just think that, look, he saw what happened last night. We all saw it. Tony Pollard broke off a 58-yarder, the longest run by a Cowboy in four years. And Tony Pollard has been balling. I do think this, Rob, and I, I'm done. I'm going to let you say, say your piece after this. I think the Cowboys are kind of afraid to run Pollard more often. Because he don't get a lot of rushes, you know, for a guy that's that productive. I mean, last night he had seven the game before he had 10. His high for the season is 14. I get it. He's a backup. But I think they're afraid he would get hurt because he's a smaller guy. But that's my thinking, Rob, that, that Zeke is like, man, this dude, we all see what's happening. I, I'm, I, not, I'm not sitting out because I, I might not you, get it back. I think you have misread Ezekiel Elliott. And I know Chris thinks haven't gone well for him, but I think he doesn't want to come out because he wants to play. And he still thinks he can contribute. I think that's part and, of it. And, and he still thinks that if I, I just need to, to break one. I just need things to kind of return back to where they were. And like you said, it ain't awful, his uh, – Yards per carry, right? Like it's not awful. He's riding year. off those first few really okay, good games. Okay, but he had. but yeah. but I'm just saying. But you're right. Overall, it's not bad. He still believes that he can be that guy. It wasn't ten years ago. It's been a few years, and you know he hadn't been the guy that a couple years ago when the Cowboys were rolling, and it was about Ezekiel Elliott. Let's just talk about it. No, it was I about agree. it was all about him, and and. Uh, Everybody was in the DAC, but DAC was like secondary. It was like Ezekiel's the best running back in the league. And the Cowboys were rolling. They were winning 13 games back then, Chris, when he was rushing for 100 yards. Um, 
And I think that's what he yearns for, and that's why he doesn't want to come out. He still feels like his time has not come and gone, that he just needs to keep working at it until he can break a couple and kind of regain that. I don't think he's afraid, you know, to to let Tony Pollard get in there. Uh, I just think he still believes he's good enough and that he shouldn't have to give up his gig uh, because he still has ability. And when the Cowboys were the Cowboys and they were the danger in the league and people were ranting and raving about him, it was when he was driving the bus and he still believes he can drive the bus. That's why I think he I still wants to go that. out there. I, I, I believe Zeke thinks he can still do it. I don't disagree with anything you said there. But I I also, both can be true. I think he thinks I can go out there and shine and be the old Zeke. And he also is like, and I better be the old Zeke because this young boy is coming. All right? And I, and I, look, I think Zeke is a great teammate. You never hear anything bad about him. I think his relationship with Pollard is good. But he's a human being, Rob. When you play sports, I mean, I play sports. I wanted to win. I was a team guy. But I wanted to do my thing too. I didn't want a backup coming out and taking my job. I mean, can you admit that? Like, you don't think any of these starters are like, I want to, like Michael Jordan said it, and I love it because it's honest. Michael Jordan said, I always wanted to win. And I wanted to be the reason we won. <laughs> right? Ain't nothing wrong with that. I like that I mentality. Know. I know. Right. I, and I that's what I'm that. saying. Like, I, I agree with what you said about Zeke. But I also think he ain't blind. And he sees that, man, this dude. I mean, you've been hearing people talking all year, maybe even more than a year. That Pollard, man, Pollard's got more burst. Pollard's got more zest. Let me give you this stat quickly, Rob, and then we'll go to the listeners. Uh, Ezekiel Elliott, a big measuring stick for running backs is this, yards beyond expected. So that's like you're expected to get a certain number of yards because of the offensive line and how they block. And then they have a measurement of how many yards do you get beyond, right, beyond what they block for you. Like if they block any back, any average back in the NFL – can get the yards they're supposed to get. How many are you getting beyond that? Well, since week six, Rob, and we just, we're in week 13, Ezekiel Elliott's yards above respected, above expected. Take a guess what it is. Is it, take is a it guess. negative or positive? Um, take a guess. <laughs> Plus two. Negative 68. Okay, that's not good. Negative. So he's not even getting the yards he's expected to get. All right? And so, by comparison, Jonathan Taylor leads the league with positive point two three. Uh, All right. But, but per, Chris, carry, me... per carry. Point right. two three per carry. Zeke's negative point two eight per carry. So, there but, you have it. Okay, but one thing you have missed is Ezekiel Elliott – does lead the league in one thing. I know a joke's coming. I know you. Halter tops <laughs> pulled down. All right, never mind. <laughs> wow. He got a rim shot for that? No, why not? Standards are low right now, see? Yes. It is the holiday time. This is charity. Thank you. Thank you. All is right, that my Christmas gift, Alex? Yeah, I'll give you one more, Rob. All right, thank you. I wish my Christmas gift for Rob could be so simple. No, you're getting By a the way, CB. I just got your Christmas gift today in the mail, Rob. Don't open it. I ain't know, I didn't know, but if I open the 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 package, will it? Is no, it, is it wrapped? Yeah, it's wrapped. Okay, so, so I can you open, open the box. Okay. Right, all right, but yeah, I, I gotta still go get yours.